y'all, we are back at it again. Uh, guys, Walsh needs some redemption here. He needs some some retribution. I'm shook. <gasps> no, I was completely oh, wrong. I couldn't believe this because this is a man who, when we have when we drink bourbon together. He will say, hey, I'm picking up this note. I'm picking up this note. And then he will look up what the tasting notes are. And he got most of them right. Oh, man. I'm, I'm like sitting are here thinking. Are you sure you didn't mix up I'm 100% glasses? sure. 100%. He still hurts. He's still hurting, man. I hope you guys, you know, gave him some love and said some prayers for him because he needs it. Um, we're going to do my tasting. And, again, I am not. I'm, I'm a novice at this. So... Boy, this is a double-edged sword, man. If I get some of these right, I'm going to feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you do. I hope you feel real bad. Uh, okay, so remind me what we got. We've got Larceny. There's regular Larceny, Buffalo Trace, and Rondu. And Rendezvous from High West. So I'll tell you guys, Larceny and Rendezvous, I'm familiar with both of those. Rendezvous I like a lot. And actually, Walsh helped me get a bottle of that um, as a Christmas present. And boy, I love the stuff. Um, so thanks for that. Sure. Um, he's honestly, also, it's he's also killing my bottle of rendezvous. That's yeah, which is very gracious of you. Rendezvous is probably my favorite. Just go to whiskey. Period. Um, I should say bourbon. Go to bourbon. Um, Larceny's up there though. I love Larceny too, and Larceny barrel proof. Which rendezvous is a blend of rye whiskeys. Yeah. Okay. Right. And see, this thing is like I, I don't know these things. I don't keep these things in mind. So please bear with me, guys. For those of you who are bourbon heads. Um, but, uh, but yeah, let's just dive in. Uh, now do you want me to start with one in particular? Um, start on your left. Okay. All right. Again, guys, novice. Okay. I'm going to smell this. I don't know what I'm smelling. Here we go. I mean, I'm slightly less novice and I thought I did great. And I... here, here comes the, here comes the newbies tasting notes, smelling notes, sniffing notes. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this while he's doing his thing. Oh, thank you, yeah. All right, so you guys can see, y'all can see everything here. So this one, I'm getting orange rind. I don't know if that tracks. Hmm, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting orange, man. All right, so let's, let's give it a shot. I know why this is hard. <laughs> this blows the knives out of the water. This is like, this is hard. Taste of my own medicine, yeah. Oh yeah, this is hard. <laughs> this is way harder. So this is an unfair balance. The knives are way easier than this. Way easier. Because you can fondle a bottle, <laughs> but that doesn't help you. Yeah, maybe if it was Blanton's, you know? <laughs> I don't know. You can feel the what is it with the Blanton's lids? The, the, yeah, the, the horse top. and yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to expedite this process. This is hard. Okay, I have a guess. I have a guess. Can I go to the second one? All right. We'll cut and we'll go to you on your knife. But then when we do my second one, I'll give a guess for the first one. Okay. Same as you did. Is that, is that cool? Yeah, that sounds fair. Okay, let me have it. I'm gonna have a pepper cleanse, guys. Yeah, okay. gotta, gotta keep it even. We're keeping it even. He yeah. pepper, I pepper cleansed. He pepper cleansed. So I've sat down. He's got these hidden. This extends. I can't see it. I've got to start out. <laughs> I, I'm still shook. Oh uh, man. For those of you playing the home game, you may have noticed we're in the same outfit because I, I couldn't handle. It. I couldn't handle it. We gotta switch this up. This was a this was a really um, a difficult uh, thing for Walsh to and uh, and again you know guys it's this is hard. So anyway, I don't mean to yeah I don't I mean, mean to get on the tangent. First one, we don't know what your outcome is yet, but right. it, it's hard. It is hard. And so I have this set aside as like a special occasion bottle. I have I have three bottles that are set aside as a special occasion bottle because they're my favorites. Um, High West Campfire. Um, I've got some E.H. Taylor and the... Now I will say, 
I feel like campfire you'd be able to pick out for sure. Oh yeah, well because it's peated, it's smoky. Yeah. So that's why we didn't bring that out. That would be a dead giveaway. But you think? You would think. <laughs> Sorry. You we'll bleep think. it. We'll bleep that. All right. Straight pepper. Anyway, not better. Which <laughs> side am I starting from? Start with your right. My right. So yes. This side. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh, right there. Yeah. Okay. So, I am feeling this. This is a... You're going to get this one. This is a CJRB Mylea. More Mylea. Oh, I was trying to see if I could feel the bolster. I can't really feel the bolster. Yeah, there it is. So, one side has a slightly raised uh, bolster from the back part of the micarta. So I'm going to say CGRB, okay. more my Leah. You feel good about that? I feel great about that. Okay. Fondling my knife. <laughs> and this, this was my knife of the year last year, so I'm pretty sure oh, I gave, uh, okay. with okay. it being the, the top flipper uh, and that one little nick in between the bolster and the back part of the micarta there that is the CGRB, more my Leah. Okay, okay. So. Alright. Alright, your turn. All right, let's do it. Middle. Middle. Okay. By the way, guys, I am, I've said this many times. I am short and I sit short. I am a short person and well, uh, I have to compensate for this in order to have uh, uh, a life where um, I can do whatever I want. So right now I'm actually got like one of my legs hiked up. I'm kind of doing this thing. Uh, so if I look awkward, that is why. Don't know if that's influencing my taste buds at all. <laughs> the, the altitude is different. Yes. The altitude is different. Um, so, we're going with the middle. We're going middle. Guys, this is hard, man. It, it's like, it's, it's, it's just so, it's not a fair balance between the knives and the bourbon. It's not, man. This is so much harder. Okay. Am I cutting my head off in the camera right now? Uh, no, not at all. Okay, great. <laughs> um, you want to know? I'm just getting an orange rind. <laughs> oh my god! Dude peeled a bunch of oranges earlier, and uh... either that or it's just it's just it's just ethanol. It's ethanol. Okay. I've never smelled gasoline. And be like, hmm, oranges. But yeah, that's fine. <laughs> there's probably something wrong with me. <laughs> I'm at a loss. Okay. You're gonna have to bleep me. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why sommeliers have to go through so much. Right? This is this is ridiculous. So if you I have, have to give an answer on, on, on one of these. At least which one's your which one do you prefer more? I don't know. It's hard. I have to give an answer. Okay. I'm gonna, you know, guys, forget the pepper cleanse. I'm gonna do these side by side real quick. Okay. Yeah, it's ethanol. See, he's smart. He left a little bit left for the third tasting. I, I didn't do that. Does the third tasting make a difference? No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Big difference now. Okay. Which one do you prefer out of those two? I don't, right now, I think it's this one. Interesting. Okay. Man. I'm to walk home after this video. <laughs> I live like 10 miles away. No, no, it's not that far. I live like... Seven. It's, I don't even think it's seven. I think it's like five. Maybe, maybe yeah. That's still a long walk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a lot longer than Walsh did. I apologize, guys. I should have taken longer. I mean... I was so sure. Okay. If y'all didn't see the first video, go back and watch the first video. I was so sure. And I was so wrong. This one has a more... God, I'm, this is egregious. How no, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, this one has a more robust kind of taste to it for me. Okay. Okay. I think this is the Buffalo Trace. No, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna settle on that. I think that's Buffalo Trace. 
Okay. Let's go with that for now. I'll do number three, and then I'll lay out the other two. Does that right. sound good? All right. Well, let me let me do a knife, and then we'll yes, we'll get to number two. Okay. Locking in buffalo trace. Buffalo trace. Yeah. Get your pepper cleanse. Okay. And let's do a knife. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me get a pepper cleanse here. All right, so am I going left or middle? Middle. Middle. All right, so all right, these are sides. Yep. Here's your middle. That's middle. Uh, ooh. Okay. Uh oh. I may not know what this is. Hmm. Hmm. There's a very large overhang here, so I, I can't see. What is? This? Interesting. All right, so it's got a little bit of a thumb stud. Like, this is me staring off into space. Sorry about that. <laughs> Mental calculation. What is this knife? All right, so I can feel it. So what this is, is me going through my Rolodex. I'm old, older than I look. And this is me going through my Rolodex of knives that I currently own and trying to figure out what this is. It has thumb studs. I, I felt good about this one. I picked it up as a as a, uh, a joker, for sure. As a joker. Okay, so I don't have a lanyard on it. I didn't do any with lanyards. So I'm, Too much of a giveaway. Yeah, I think there's a... I need lanyard hole right there. There's something right there. I can't get a good feel for it. But it's got right, right there somewhere. Right there. Oh, wait a minute. 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 No. Okay. It's not what I thought it was. Shoot. Mm. Okay. CJRB more my Leah. That's still a lock. Okay. This. Does not have a top roller or a front flipper, depending on the manufacturer. It has a small, very small thumb stud. It has kind of a flat back. It does, it does kind of swoop up here toward the the ass end. That's all I got for you. <laughs> um, hey, you know YouTube like pulled back the uh, the regulations on the cursing. So oh, yeah. we may be able to unbleep some of them. You know, I don't know where we're at, but we're well past 15 seconds. Yeah, I think we're fine. Dude, I'm going through my repertoire of knives. Yeah. I am blanking on what this, because I have very few. I felt so good when I pulled this one out. I was like, this one's going to be the one that is the, is the ringer. Okay. Because I have very few, I think I have four thumb studs. And one of them has a lanyard. This is not my new one. This is not my new Kaiser because it's not. It doesn't have the leathery G10. I intentionally did not choose that one. Yeah, that's a, that's good. I've carried that for ten days straight. I, it was a too much. Of I could have known that without yeah, touching it. Yeah. Um, I could have smelled it and been like, mm. yeah. What is this? So my Shuffle Two has a thumb stud. My QSP Penguin has a thumb stud. My, uh, well, no. Because those are pinch studs, and I don't feel the pinch here. So this isn't my beluga. What the f is this? <laughs> what knife is this? Uh, this is not my Rough Rider uh, VG10 Copper Cleaver. Shit. Um, <laughs> oh, damn it. Because you went four for four on knives. And I mean, those were those were slippies. So I mean, I don't know with modern knives. Yeah. I don't know. So this is textured. It's it's either G10 or micarta. Uh, Even that though, like micarta and G10. Honestly, that's what's interesting to me is that micarta and G10. If you're just feeling them, they're hard to tell apart. Wait a minute. This is the Kaiser Doman. By Jove, he's he's got it. Yes. Final answer. Final answer. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get back. We'll to hop me. back to me. Let's do it. This is like I'm trying to think of analogies. It's like crossing the Rubicon. This is hard, dude. Mm-hmm. 
Because you know the comments are going to judge you. We get a lot of wonderful comments. And guess what? Speaking of which, new series coming soon. It's a year-end thing. We're going to round up. Oh, man, I can't wait. We're going to uh, I'm tangent. Screw it. I don't care. We're going to round up our favorite comments, our favorite... Well, just believe me. I'm cursing, guys. We're just going to... We're going to roll the bleeps out. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Our favorite shitty comments over the past... Every year, we're going to start doing this. Over the year, we're going to round up all of our favorite shitty comments. Yeah. Ooh, we're going to talk about My them. favorite one was the one about my, my bench. And it's been deleted. I went back and looked. Oh, the Lego I, one? I pushed the button, and the guy was like, Nice bench. How do you do any work on it with all them Legos? <laughs> yeah. And I responded. Yeah, I was like... I pick them up and move them. Like, <laughs> Number one, if you don't like Legos, then fuck you. Number two. Star Wars. Uh, yeah, dude, for real. Okay, I'm back on point. Back on point. Glass number three. I've identified this as definitely buff. I think it's Buffalo Trace. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting nothing. Nothing on the smell. The taste is fine. It's smooth. Nothing on smell. I mean, guys, I gotta tell you, my sinuses have been crap since the day I was born. <laughs> so, I don't think I can smell anything anyway. <laughs> what a video this is. Right? I mean, I don't know my outcome either, so I, I'm, I'm hoping I redeem myself. I feel fairly confident about this one. Okay. So, our right, he's saying Buffalo Trace, so he's got Larceny and Rendezvous right. left. And then, of course, we did it in the last video. We're going to do it in this one. There's going to be a kicker. There's a wild card. The wild card is going to be. I'm not going to know it. I already know. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to cut out a lot of my sitting here and thinking. <laughs> Larceny. <laughs> Rendezvous. <laughs> Buffalo Trace, Larson, Ron. Okay, they saw that, so now I'm going to give you the kicker. Um, you know what it could be. I'll let the. Uh... Is this the same options that you have? Yes, yeah, same options uh, that I had. I'm not taking this whole shot. We're, are we rolling right now? Yes. Okay, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not taking this whole job. Peer I'm pressure. Still... Do it. Do it. No, no. I'm just kidding. Um, so he has the same options that I had in the last video. Just um, out of curiosity, because I didn't look at these glasses that much. How, how liberal were these pores? Half an ounce. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you haven't finished any of them yet. No, so. you're right. That's fruity. So... This is in the Grandfather Mountain shot glass. Uh, I, gave you, I gave you some history on the shot glass that I had from my grandfather. This was from our trip to Grandfather Mountain. Link, great time. Uh, great time. Great trip. So please, please check out that video. So I've already, I've already put it on the screen. I'm just thinking to myself, I just had a complete, I know I looked like a robot that just shut down. No, go ahead. <laughs> I was trying to recall. Did we shoot at Grandfather Mountain for that trip? Yes, we did. We did? Okay. Yeah, we shot... Uh, we'll have a link, guys. The closing video, we shot some stills as yeah. well. But I gotta switch feet um, again. That's right. Short man problem. So, I've already put up on the screen what this is. Okay. But, to give him a, a, a bit of a memory recollection... Yeah, run, is, run them all by us. It is either Heaven Hill, Bottle and Bond. Yeah. Jim Bean, Devil's Cut. Okay. Eagle Rare 10 yeah, I don't know my Eagle Rare at all. Eagle Rare 10 year. Uh, Four Roses Small Batch. I don't know Four Roses at all. Or High West American no, Prairie Bourbon. I do know that. Okay, so what I'm familiar with, I'm slightly familiar with Heaven Hill, Bob and Bond. I'm pretty familiar with um, High West. And then what was the third one that I know? 
The gym beam. The gym beam. Yeah, I know the gym beam. I know what to expect from it. It's too smooth to be the gym beam. At least I think it is. The hell do I know? <laughs> Especially what do we know this many in, so. I have no idea. I have no idea what that could possibly be. But for the sake of this video, I will make a guess. One more sip. I'm getting a, I'm getting fruit there, but again, this is from the, this is from the, the mouth of a layman. Run everything by me one more time. We've got right. American Prairie. American Prairie. Four yeah. Roses Small Batch. Yeah. Eagle Rare Ten Year. Jim Beam Devil's Cut or Heaven Hill Bottled in Bond. It's not Jim. It's not Jim Beam. Okay. I don't know. It could be. Eagle, I don't know Eagle Rare enough to make a call. Um, Heaven Hill. I don't feel confident enough. I don't think it's Heaven Hill. That's what I said because I was right. super confident in Heaven Hill, and I will. That that peppery kind of thing that Heaven Hill does. Yeah. Um, so, I think my grandchildren will be <laughs> disappointed in me in this. Oh man, it's gonna be written on this man's grave. <laughs> Here lies the dude that got his second favorite whiskey wrong. You can't dwell on it. Um, I, if I were to guess, I think that that's American Prairie. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I think it's American Prairie. Fool of a took. Throw yourself in next time and rid us of your stupidity. Okay. Okay. So, you, yeah. All right. So let's just let's just finish you out. Uh, you're wrong. Okay, great. Okay, it good was to know. four roses small batch. That okay. was his uh, kicker when he was saying the first thing I think he said was 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 uh, floral, and I was like, oh shit, he's gonna get it. And then he said fruity. I'm like, no, he's totally gonna get it. And then he went in a different direction. I don't know anything about four roses. So uh, I thought he was gonna get that one right, but he and I both got the kicker. The uh, the the, uh, the oddball wrong. So let's turn it right. carefully. And now remind me what I said. I said um, Buffalo Trace. Yep. Larceny. And then Rondy. Rondy Boo. <laughs> we suck. We suck. Oh my God. Doesn't it hurt? It does. Like you died a little inside turning that box around. Because I thought that was Buffalo Trace. Right. Yeah. yeah. Dude, fuck me. And and I'm pretty sure you this said is the, my favorite bourbon. I'm pretty sure you the, the larceny was like your favorite, which is fine. Well, that's fine. I can accept that because I, I I mean like I love larceny, but I can't accept that I chose Buffalo Trace. <laughs> Buffalo Trace ain't bad though. It ain't bad, but God, ah, never mind. This is crazy. This is all right, man. This is one of those things I can sit down now. This is what can you see me? Already? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. This is one of those things that almost makes you wonder. There's something psychological. I don't know. Yeah. Are you buying it for the bottle? Are you buying it for the label? For the taste? But when you're tasting it, when you buy the bottle and right. you have your pour, you I mean you feel like you yeah. can you can pick up that identity. You know what I mean when you're tasting it. So when I drink the the rendezvous, I get this wonderful floral, flowery rye note like yeah w with me i feel like i can go that's a rye and rendezvous is blended rye. yeah and so for me that one in theory would have stuck out i didn't do that yeah, one. see i don't for rye. i again uh, coming from my perspective guys i couldn't tell you a rye from a regular bourbon from a whiskey i really couldn't but i may not have been able to either so i'm glad you you screwed this up as i'm much glad as I did. too i really am glad to hear that because yeah, I would have been, I don't know. Um, so, no. I think you never said it, but... So I said Trace Rendezvous, um, and no, no, sorry, Trace Larceny Rendezvous. Is right, I said? Yeah. right, but the one on your left now, most left, you kind of indicated was your favorite. Your second favorite, which you thought was Buffalo Trace, was actually Rendezvous. Okay. And then your third was Buffalo Trace. So I'm you're, sorry, you're gonna have to run that by me one more time. So, okay. so this one I said I thought was my favorite. Second favorite. Second so favorite. Larceny was your favorite. Rendezvous was your second favorite. Buffalo Trace. I can live with that. Yeah. I like Larceny a lot, so I can. That's fine. I mean, honestly, I thought High West 
uh, particularly Ronnie, who I thought was like, because I can tell you um, that bottle that Walsh helped uh, basically help procure for my for Christmas. Um, I enjoyed every ounce of that bottle, and basically I would have a long day, come home, not come home, or just whatever I was doing, um, have a glass at the end of the day, and be like, oh my God, this is yeah. perfection. Um, so, anyway, I don't mean to get too tan tangential. You know, I yeah. am. I've got one, several bourbons deep. So. <laughs> I've got one more blade to go through and yes, a kicker really, yeah. if you've got it. Yes, and uh, I do have it by the way. Okay, so let's let's finish yeah. that let's and uh, we'll, we'll. I mean, we'll see if I'm right or wrong. I, I do want to make a closing statement on the bourbons, though. Okay, this really is like it's it's so much different than just handling a blade, <laughs> which is obvious. That's obvious, yeah. but it's 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 interesting to me. Um, you know. You, it's interesting just how it's so hard. It's this is the hardest thing to uh, to identify one bourbon from the other. It's I I can't imagine, uh, and it, it definitely cements for me like what a sommelier or I don't know if they have a different term for bourbon. No sommelier, that's still right. Yeah. So, say that again. Sommelier. Sommelier. I always say sommelier. Sommelier. Yeah. Um, what it, it kind of justifies the amount of. Education, education, or, training. Yeah, what they have to go through. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, all right. So let's get back to the knives. Let's do this. Um, we got a wild card. We got, we got, yeah, we got to wrap this up. So back to it. <laughs> <laughs> In case you guys missed that, I just, I, I was just met with an expletive. <laughs> um, it was meant with all the love. <laughs> okay, round three. Round three. So we're on to the left one. This one. Yes. So I, I let me interject real quick. I intentionally picked these three. Okay, I know what it is. <laughs> I intentionally picked these three because they are similar in size. They're yep. similar in shape. Yeah. Um, just trying to confuse. Well, sort of. This middle one, the blade shape's completely. Well, okay, different. blade shape. I, yeah. I, I guess I mean like length, you know, width. They're similar in that regard. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to confuse Walsh, but um, yeah. So I don't, tell me what you think. This has a blue, rich light handle <laughs> material, 154 cm on the blade. It has a sheep's foot or reverse tanto uh, blade shape. This is the Kaiser Towser K. You did. You crazy son of a bitch. You did. Uh, what would have been knife of the year for me last year if I had bought it in the year that it was purchased, but it was not. So this knife won knife of the year for 2022. But, final answer, this is the Kaiser Towser K154CM. This is the uh, Kaiser Doman in N690, and this is the um, Moore Mylea uh, from CGRB. All right, we have, a, we have a, a well-rounded answer from Mr. Walsh here, so we do have a wild card. Bring it on. Do me a favor and just duck your head real quick while I round that up. Okay, the knife is, it's not in the box, it's just in front of the box. Okay. Actually, you know what, let me do you a favor. We're good luck here. I'll move these out of the way. There we go. Okay. Is this mine? No, it's one of mine. Oh. I actually scratched that. I should do one of yours, shouldn't I? No, but you gave me one of yours. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this is one of yours. It's it's not yeah it's it's one of mine. Okay. Because you gave me one of yours for my wild card, so that's, I have to that's true. I have to repay the favor. And I, I would have to think after a, a couple of drinks for both of us that you're being semi nice to me. I, I okay. This is one of those things. I I can happily give a hint on this one. This is probably a pilot test run of sorts. And uh, where's that other nail? Oh, that is hard to do. Yeah, it is. there it is. Yeah. Okay, um, insert clip here. And if we turn it around, it says, pilot test run! Say it, man, you gotta say it. Well, my kids are sleeping in the room <laughs> <of my> life. <laughs> it's a pilot test run! Uh, I that, can't believe you got that. That's, that's well done, well done. Um, so yeah, all right, you nailed that one. Was that, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah nailed yeah, it, man, nailed it, nailed it. I, of course I had to choose that one. Uh, that's a great knife. That's a great knife. Okay, so back right, down again. Right. I didn't think about this. Um, 
moved all these knives out of the way. I didn't think about the fact that you hadn't turned the box yet. All right, so I'm still going. CJRB more my Leah. Yep. Kaiser Delman. Yep. Kaiser Talzer K. Yes. Can I turn? Yep. Turn the box. They're they're kind of halfway hanging out, but okay. yeah, you can turn it. So what this shows us? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> is uh, <laughs> we know our knives better than we know our bourbons, and uh, we need to do more more. Uh, Let me okay. in depth study. Okay. Yeah, dude. Oh my god, identifying a bourbon by taste. Yeah. Is so f- hard. That is the hardest thing I think That's I've. So good. Why did I get that? I mean, but I know, okay, when you isolate it, it stands out. But when you put them together in a group, it's like it, it, they all blend together. That's what really threw me for a loop was that, you, you know, when you, you, when you have that one bourbon by itself, you yeah. think, okay, I would know this, you know, you know, forever because its taste is so identifiable. Hey, get over here. We finished the other yeah, one let me, together. Let me, Let's finish this one together. Grab my hat here. All right, here's the deal, guys. Um, I'm a few glasses deep right now, so I'm just sticking with pepper for a moment. But uh, yeah, the point I was trying to make was um, when you have that bourbon by itself, you think that, oh, it's, it's, it's so identifiable and the, the flavor notes are so unique. Yeah. But then when you, yeah, like putting, uh, what we've learned from this at least is putting, the, putting them in a row. Yeah. Bond. Uh, it's, it's impossible. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you want to add, man? I'm still hurt. Deep. I'm, I'm cut deep. You cut me deep. Yeah, that I got those. Not only did I get them wrong, oh, that I that I picked what I picked, how I picked, and that's the previous video. I don't care. I'm so glad that I got my knives right. Yeah, no, you nailed the knives. I mean, for being Knox knife mods, I would hope we would get these right. Least, yeah, this doman tripped me up. I was feeling good about the doman. I, I I specifically chose that one because I was thinking, man, I haven't seen Walsh carry the doman. Yeah, in a long time. So, and these knives are, are generally, you know, about this, I'm mean, obviously they're not the same like width. Th- those two are more similar. They yeah. are, these two are, yeah. But they're generally kind of the same length, same handle length, same blade length. But you did go three no- three thumb studs. Yeah, so that, was, that was intentional. That was intentional, so that was great, yeah. Um, yeah. I was so glad that you nailed the pilot, of, you had to nail that one, good to. one. That would've been the great. only one I would've got. That was great. <laughs> Pilot desk run. Pilot desk. That was that was that was a great shoot. Uh, Can we pin that? No, absolutely. Yeah. Look up here, guys. If you didn't if you didn't see our uh, previous trip, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, that's where I picked up the the pilot test run. Um, and by the way, if you're a longtime viewer and you already know what we're talking about, man, thank you so much. Uh, that's awesome. And uh, yeah, yeah, we really do. Uh, and if you're not, like and subscribe. Please do, yeah, because uh, you know obviously we're a small channel. You know, we're just having fun. Obviously, we are. <laughs> we're a couple bourbons deep. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we would love to have you guys on board, and uh, we'd love to, you know, have you here for future videos. Um, so, that's mine. That's yours. <laughs> I don't know what's what yeah. anymore. So, everything's a mystery. Life is a simulation, and uh, <laughs> the Matrix will end. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, thanks for joining us. Thank um, y'all. I'm glad we both got our knives. This was a great I, idea. I feel validated that we both got our this knives. This is my favorite video I think we've ever shot. Like, this has been entertaining, if nothing else. Um, so, yeah, appreciate you guys joining us. Um, here's to, here's to, I don't know. Yeah. Here's to you and here's to me. And should yeah. we ever disagree, to hell with you and here's to me. That was very eloquent. See you guys next time. That was great. That was great. That was great.